So what made you want to go with Canning in the suspension? It just looks sick, honestly. It does. You, you uh, really can't deny how awesome that looks. Yeah. If I'm, I mean, there there are a lot of added advantages. I mean, I can open this up and I can change my shocks like this. I can I can do that. Extremely serviceable. Yeah. Super serviceable. I can just take the shocks out whenever I want. I can adjust the ride height really easily. Right. Um, there's less unsprung mass for the rear wheels. Uh, Doesn't it bring the center of gravity up a little bit? It does. Yeah, because there's it, all this weight is higher. Right. So. There's good things and bad things, but... Did you have to modify the lower control arms with it? Yeah, the, the whole subframe, the control arms, the lower, upper, the whole thing is, is all redone, new, different, you know. Waiting to be redone again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cool. this is this is version one. I'm working on version two. Awesome. Version two is going to be better. But, like, for this car, like, it's, it's not going to be, like, a super competitive chassis. Like, I get comments all the time being, like, What's the point of doing this on a 75, like 50 year old car? It's just really at the end of the day, it's just. Yeah, exactly. That's all that matters, man. As long as you're more engineering. Yeah, yeah it's, it's cool. It and is I'm learning cool. a lot and the, on the engineering side. It's, it's like a, it's a little bit of a school project, you know. Because you are studying engineering as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm studying mechanical engineering. So. This is kind of like a portfolio. Yeah. Almost and, like and, a resume. Anywhere you show up, any job application, you drive up in this. Pop mm -hmm. the trunk, you're like, yeah, right here. Yeah, I'll, I mean, on my resume, I'm putting a lot of the smaller projects that I've done on this car. Like uh, the brakes, uh, stop tech brakes, front and rear that I took from uh, the used, I think it's a NASCAR or some sort of uh, circuit car. They used them and they sold them on eBay. And so I made the brake dips uh, with all the like, caliber mounts that you did on your car. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you, you have to do all that? Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know the machine. Machine, machine the whole thing, yeah. But you got access to the machine, so you can kind of like, you know, supervise it as it's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I, I picked the rotor hat dev and everything just to clear these wheels. I actually had to redo it again because, so to avoid spacers and stuff, because these, the faces of the wheels are like, they're not like, your normal wheel has a bunch of caliper space. Right. Like these old school like uh, JDM wheels, they have like no caliper space. So I just I push the caliper as far as back, as far back as possible. Makes sense. I mean, but you went about it the conservative wheel way. Mm -hmm. I went about it the other way where I had the same exact problem. So I just got the problem. Yeah. <laughs> so I did everything to fit. Like I, I changed so many things just to fit these wheels and hit with these flares. I mean, as you should, these wheels are beautiful. Yeah. This is some devil's shit. It's pretty sick, right? I really <laughs> like it now. It's oh, yeah. Here, I'll show you the engine bay. Oh, but I did want to look. God damn, dude. Holy a, shit. I've seen the pictures, but like you said, videos, pictures don't really do this thing justice. I mean, I wish I can attain this level of build quality with my car you can yeah now that you're helping me that's how <laughs> above the inline fuel filter yeah it's, of it's pergola fittings uh are these ptfd lines yeah ptfd because it's only 85 so um everything's ptfd i put this here because it's at the highest point of the the fuel circuit right so i can just take that out and not have to worry about much of fuel draining all over the place do you have a um, a quick release for if you need to, let's say, drain the tank and switch fuel? I I actually just quick bought design. two of them. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't put them in yet, but in the rear, I'm going to put them in to quick disconnects. And just drain the drain fuel, swap it if you have to, or yeah, if it yeah. gets stale after not driving the car for a while. Mm -hmm. That's that's awesome. Yeah, drop the subframe and just work on everything. Wow, you did not go easy even on the vents or the crankcase. You same idea? Yeah, you, you did the same thing, right? Like, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Honestly, this is this is so beautiful. Fucking hell, it's pretty cool. I, th like I think this is what Aki Asakura was feeling when he first saw the Devil Z. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it. The, He's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm geeking the fuck out over this thing. <laughs>
This time we got a bit of. <laughs> this time we got. God damn it. 